I'm having a kind of head-to-head -head shootout between these two. Um, but first off, I'm going to do a quick, uh, my thoughts on this Olight i3e EOS. Okay, so the first thing, and obviously this is totally subjective to me, uh, but something I didn't intend or, or didn't think that would happen is I can actually see more detail. I think whatever it is about the light, the Olight light, is better than some of the other ones I'm checking out. So here, I'll go right to my thoughts on that, but that was uh, one of the first things I noticed is not maybe not as bright as some of the others, but the quality of the light is actually better. So here it goes. Um, but visually being here, I can definitely read things and see more detail with the Olight than I can with, um, the Thrunite. And not that either one is, is bad. And in fact, like I said, I think the Thrunite is a bit brighter, um, uh, but this just has like a more pleasing light. The next thing I know is that I'm going to run these with 10 440s and not uh, AAAs. So I just want to see how they perform, how hot they get, you know, are, are they even feasible? Is it going to burn out right off the bat? So that's what I'm doing here in this next test. All right, here's the old lights. I'm just kind of normal mode with the AAAs. The 10 440. Um, you know, much brighter, obviously, and close. And you can really kind of see it's ahead on the trail. So, all right. Back to AAA. So you can see, you can see quite a ways down the trail, maybe not terribly far. And we're back to the 10 440s. So, and I do, I like this light. I'll talk about this some as I'm out there. Okay, so I'm dorking out on the quality of the light there because that's something I didn't uh, expect. But, um, you know, you can see a lot better with the 10440. There's no doubt about it. So I used it quite a bit. I think the circuitry, you know, obviously can handle it, but it's going to be the heat that bothers me. So I let this sit for five minutes because it obviously gets hot. But just how hot does it get? Timer is up. Um, let's see. 112, 111, 112. You know, hot to the touch, not terrible. It's actually pretty hot. But I don't think that's gonna actually damage, you know, the light. I had it on for much longer than that too. Maybe I'll give it another five minutes and check it out, but. Okay, so it runs about 15 to 18 degrees hotter with the 10 440 instead of the AAA battery. Um, you know, there's a, a whole other variety of concerns here, so I'm not suggesting you do that, but that's how I think I'm going to be running it most of the time. And then the punchline for this flashlight is this is, I think, um, even though it was one of the more affordable flashlights, I think this one got the nod as, like, probably my number two uh, currently in the EDC, what I'm doing, my little EDC contest. The flashlights were super close. This one handles the 10440 just a hair better, and I thought the light was maybe a little bit better, so... That's it. Hope you enjoyed it and hope you're having a great day. Thanks a lot.